You've been on my mind I grow fonder Every day Lose myself in time Just thinking Of your face God only knows Whether you're excited or freaking out about everything when you read this just know I'm excited and you better believe I'm going to cry at some point. This day will definitely be the happiest day we've had for a long time, but it won't be the last. There's no one in the world who knows me better and no one else I'd rather spend my life with. You are my rock, my love and my best friend. You have the most tender heart that you've opened to me and it's such an attractive feature. I know that my grandparents would have adored you as my family does because of how you love and respect me. I think every girl dreams of a tall, dark and handsome man. I think I nailed this one. I cannot wait for our future, whatever it may look like, knowing I have you on my team, we can conquer and achieve anything. I love you, see you soon. Walk that mile until the end starts. If I've been on your mind, you have When I moved to Wellington, the last thing I wanted was a relationship. <laughs> that lasted about two days until I met you. I will continue loving you whether you are a poor man or a rich man, a healthy man or a sick man, and especially when we are the old couple in the retirement village playing Monopoly. And yes, I will still get mad when I lose. <laughs> Thank you for being my soulmate. I love you. I promise to share everything I have with you, for richer or for poorer. We've survived as students living in Wellington on, t on next to nothing, but somehow we survived. Funnily enough, buying a house and getting married makes you feel like you're living like a student again. <laughs> but we keep, we keep on pushing. As long as we're together, there's nothing I'm sure we can't handle. I promise to nurse you when you're sick, tuck you in, bring you snacks and keep you warm and safe. With all my heart, till death goes by. Seeing that you both agree, it is my privilege and my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>
The other tradition that comes up there is around the, the tradition of the bride, um, of giving the bride away. So, you know, in these modern times, it's probably not the, not the thing, but in the olden days, um, the, the bride was considered to be um, something that the father owned and could sell to the highest bidder. So, Wes, I'm still looking for the money, mate. <laughs> for a number of years, Wes has been uh, experiencing the tradition of the red packet. And at certain times of the year, he's received these red packets. And he goes, you know, he looks at it and he goes, oh, Auntie Mabel, don't know who she is, but, oh, 10 bucks, thanks very much, put it in my pocket. But of course, Wes, you do, what you didn't really do is, you know all that Chinese writing and the little characters on the back? You didn't really ask for it to be translated properly because what happens is, when you're single, you get the red packets, but when you're married, things change. <laughs> no longer do you, re do you receive red packets, but you actually have to give them. And you know that Aunt Mabel? She's got 17 kids. <laughs> um, for me, it's been a, you know, it's been a, 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 a splendid journey. And um, you know, as, a, as a father, I couldn't be prouder that I am today. <laughs> On that note, I'd just like you to uh, all raise your glasses and join me in a toast to the bride and groom. I'm not allowed to tell any jokes, but I can, I can honestly say that today I'm, I can probably say I'm the only man here that married his son. Nine years ago, Wesley took off to, to Wellington and um, wasn't soon after that we seen a couple of photos turn up on social media and um, we noticed that um, there was a, a person quite close to Wesley, or just about attached and um, the one thing that, that I'm, I'm quite proud of is that I find nicknames for all the girls. So Heather was the first one and her nickname was Klingon. <laughs> I want to say to you that we haven't lost a son, we've gained a daughter. <laughs>